In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make these 3D animated bar charts all the way from scratch in PowerPoint, including all of the animations that you can see on the screen. The tutorial has been split up into four steps, making the 3D shapes, customizing, transitions, and animating the text. Let's start with the first one, which is 3D shapes and how we can make the animated bar charts. Right click, format background, and we're going to give it a dark purple background. Next, we want to add a shape and we're going to add a rectangle. We're just going to make a square, so hold shift to get the perfect square. We'll make it blue and remove the outline. We want to control shift drag to make a copy. That is a very good shortcut to know. And then we want to extend the square so it becomes a rectangle and connect it together with the one on top. Select both, right click format shape, format object. And we're going to the second tab and go to the 3D rotation tab. Here we want to select the angle, so the isometric angle, so both of them are positioned in the same way. We want to connect them together, so drag the large rectangle and connect it with the square. Select both and then position them so they just cover the slide or they just go beyond the border. Zoom in a little bit to make sure that everything connects together. Here we can see there's a slight shift so we can select the rectangle and with the arrow keys we can connect them so they match perfectly and the lines are smooth. Select both the large and the smaller shape and then Ctrl Shift drag to create a duplicate and connect them so they position well next to each other. Shape fill and we want to make this a little bit darker blue and we're going to for a different color scheme. Do that step two more times, make this one purple and then one more time where we give it some sort of a darker purple shape fill. Once you're happy with the positioning, there we go. That looks a bit too bright, let's go for a darker shade that looks more clean. Okay, next step is we want to select the rectangles, so the square shapes, format tab. And we want to give it the different isometric view. I selected the wrong one in the previous step, but you have to select the one which is faced upwards. Go to 3D format and go to the depth tab and give it about 100 points. Here you can see these squares have changed into cubes. And these cubes you can now drag up or down to position them and to get a 3D effect. Here you can see that happening. And that is the effect that we want to recreate in the end. Add a shape and we're going to add a triangle. And we're going to position it on the right side of the slide. Position it in the corner, remove outline and drag it to the bottom corner. And here we want to grab the anchor point and drag it towards the right. This will give us a very clean edge if we shape fill and make it the same as the background. This will give a smooth edge on the side of the cube and the rectangle. Let's add some icons, so insert icon and then choose the icons that you want. You can pick some of the standard icons or add your own, that doesn't really matter. Make the icons white and then spread them over the page. We want to first align them all together, so select all the different icons, align to top and maybe it's better to align to the middle, there we go. But they're all the same size anyways. Right click format object. And we want to give the same 3D rotation, so the same isometric rotation to the icons. Then we can drag them on top of the cubes and that will give us a pretty cool looking effect for the bar chart. That's just that little extra touch to make it look more professional. Group them together, so the icon with the cube. Do that for each of the blocks. And this way you can move them together as one part. Grab the triangle and move it to the front again. And then we can move to the second step, which is customization and how you adjust them according to your own needs. So how to adjust the scales of the cubes. If you grab the cube, you can move it up or down. And here we see a little trouble area. We want to make sure to select the shapes and bring them to the front. So right click and bring to front. Do the same with the triangle for the clean edge. And this way, when you drag the cube down, it will shift into the ground. And that is the effect that we want to create. Now all of the cubes have the same height, so they have the same maximum height, but of course we can to customize that. So select one of the cubes, for example, the second one in blue, 
go to the 3D Format tab, and here we want to change the depth from 100 to maybe 150 points. Press Enter, and then you can drag out the cube a little bit higher, so it's more like a, a rectangle in 3D now. You can even make it a lot higher if you want, so select the, the purple one and change it to maybe something at 200, 220. Press Enter, and then you can drag this out even higher. You can also set them all to the maximum height that you want, and then it's easier to adjust. That's just a different way of working. Let's do one more and give it a custom height. Somewhere around 150 again. And this one you can choose how high you go. You can also make it a little bit lower. So they're very easily customizable to your own needs. Next, we want to add a text box and we're going to add a title on the slide. So grab the box and add in an adding, for example, topic one. We want to make it white, increase the font size and change it to a different font. We're going to use Montserrat here and maybe go for a bold font type. Increase it a little bit more, Let's align it to the right. And now we're going to right click format object, format shape and go to the text options tab. And then we're going to add the same 3D rotation. So go to 3D rotation and give it the same isometric view. If you use a standard one, it's very easy to give all the objects, all the text and shapes the same rotation for your slide. Position it in the middle of the line at the bottom. And let's change the font a little bit smaller. That's good. And then control shift drag to make three more copies of that text. Position them all at the same place and then change the text from the numbers one to two and number three. Next, we want to add a title. So let's type in slides, Bebas Neue, bold, and increase the font by quite a lot. Center it in the middle. Control, shift, drag to create a duplicate. Reduce the font size of the second text box and then change it to a ranking, ranking slides. We're going for a handwritten font, maybe Sign Painter will do good. Capitalize the R and change the font to yellow, that gives a nice contrast. Let's go for text options and give them a shadow fill. So a shadow that will make it stand out just a little bit more. Position them until you're happy. And then we have customized our ranking slides with the text, the icons, the height of the block and the title. Now let's move on to the third step, which is animating and how to animate the charts in your presentation. Duplicate the slide so you can control T or right click duplicate. And then we're going to drag all the objects down. So none of the blocks has increased in size. We want to duplicate it again. And here we want to lift one of the blocks. Do the same thing, you duplicate once more and increase the size of the next block. Do that for all of the four blocks. So you want to lift it all on one slide. And then at the end, we will have some sort of an overview where we shift from zero to four blocks. And then you get the following result with zero, one, two, three, and four elevated blocks on different slides. Now we want to select them, add the morph transition to all of the slides, and let's preview. And here we have the animation that we are looking for. So you can control them with each single click, it will shift. Let's move to step number four, which is adding the text and animating your custom text in the presentation. We want to go to the second slide with the first step, and we want to reduce the titles to make some space for some text. So reduce the font size and position it in the middle or somewhere in your slide, in the middle of the left side. And that looks good. Add a text box and we're going to add a title with some explanation. This could be topic one. We want to change the font to Montserrat so it matches the rest of the text. Make it bold and change it to the color of the first chart. Now we want to add another text box with some dummy text on it. So we go for another text box and we add some text. Position it correctly and do the same with the title. Position it so it looks balanced on the slide. 
and do the same for the other boxes. So control shift drag to create a copy, change the number to two or to whatever title you have, change the color so it matches the second box and then select all four, drag them over to the left and align to the right. Here we do the same, change the colors, change the numbers, and then we have a custom slide. Now we want to drag all of the topics outside of the screen, except for the first one, because it's linked to the first chart. And since we have reduced the title, so the ranking slides, we want to make sure it's the same on all slides. So remove the title from the next slides, and we're just going to add all content at once. That's easier. Go to the third slide here, select all of the topics, including the title slide and the ones on the right. Control C, go to the next slide, Control V, and here you take the second topic and drag it into place. And you want to do the same thing for all of the other slides, so select, go to the next slide, paste, and drag in the third topic. Maybe let's position it a little bit higher. That way it looks more balanced. Also readjust the topic number four. And we're going to copy this and the parts on the left and copy that to the last slide and then move in topic number four. Let's readjust the positioning of the title for so the ranking slides. Let's put it a little bit to the right that way the slide looks more evenly balanced. Then we of course have to change that for the other slides too. So if you make a change in one of the slides, you have to make sure it's the same on the others. So the morph transition does its thing. Select all slides and morph. And now let's preview the result. Now you know how to make this nice ranking slide with animated charts and topics, and it's fully customizable. Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, make sure to check out the video which is on screen now and hope to see you in the next video.